So in this video, what I'm going to show you is the correlation coefficient and regression and scatter plot and drawing the regression line. Sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's very straightforward and it's located in one area. So let's say you want to do the regression, right, line for um, miles per gallon and horsepower. So what do we do? Well, we go to stats and we go to regression. And then we want to do simple linear for the regression. Simple linear, of course, is for uh, straight lines. Okay, so in this case again, for the x variable, we'll say horsepower, and then the y, we're going to click on uh, miles per gallon. Okay, um, a lot of options. We're not going to touch anything, and we're just going to click on compute. Okay, so there's a lot of information here. Let's see what it tells us. Um, tells us what's X and what's Y. It gives us the model, right? This is Y, which is miles per gallon. Y is equal to 30.09, which is your Y-intercept. And then this is your slope. And this is X, horsepower. N, right, the number of pairs is 32. Correlation coefficient is negative 0.77. So that means as it's negatively um, uh, correlated, right, inversely, inversely related. Um, R square uh, gives you the value for R square. Uh, and then the standard error. It also gives you... Um, the parameters for your regression. Here you'll find the um, y-intercept, b, which is the same one as this value here. And then you'll see also the slope, which is this one right here. Okay. And so this helps you to determine the formula, which is here. Okay. Next, if you click on the arrow, it gives you the scatter plot, but it also gives you the, the fitted line, right? The regression line, which is right here. So, if you want to copy this graph here, you can always go to Option and Copy. And then it tells you what to do. In this case, in the Mac, I'm going to right click and I'm going to save image as, or copy image. Very similar to the PC, you just right and click, or you just read what the message tells you to do.